They used to send father tickets when he was alive, and then afterwards they remembered us and sent them to mother. Mr. Windybank did not wish us to go. He never did wish us to go anywhere. He would get quite mad if I wanted so much as to join the Sunday school treat. But this time I was set on going, and I would go. For what right had he to prevent? He said the folk were not fit for us to know when all father's friends were to be there. And he said that I had nothing fit to wear when I had my purple plush that I had never so much as taken out of the drawer. At last, when nothing else would do, he went off to France upon the business of the firm. But we went, mother and I, with Mr. Hardy, who used to be our foreman. And it was there I met Mr. Hosmer Angel. I suppose, said Holmes, that when Mr. Windybank came back from France, he was very annoyed at your having gone to the ball. Oh, well, he was very good about it. He laughed, I remember, and shrugged his shoulders, and said there was no use denying anything to a woman, for she would have her way. I see. Then at the gasfitter's ball you met, as I understand, a gentleman called Mr. Hosmer Angel. Yes, sir. I met him that night, 